What's going on everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Cleveland Guardian versus Seattle Mariners Major League Baseball matchup going down Thursday, June 20th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, call 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one. Between the Cleveland Guardians and the Seattle Mariners, the Cleveland Guardians sending out Logan Allen for the start in this one, while the Mariners will counter with Luis Castillo. And Castillo had a nice bounce back start last time out, six innings, a two-run ball in a win at home over the Texas Rangers. Uh, but that was at home where Castillo has been stronger. And last time we saw him out on the road, gave up five runs on six hits over five innings of work and a loss to the Kansas City Royals. And, you know, the thing about Castillo this season is that when you take him out of, you know, a pitcher-friendly environment like uh, like T-Mobile, we've seen he's had some issues, a 3.76 ERA, but the opponent's batting average is actually lower, a 227 opponent batting average, the home runs allowed is lower, he's allowed a couple more doubles, a couple extra, extra base hits, but, you know, outside of that, he actually hasn't been that bad on the road, so maybe he could have some success here in Cleveland. The thing is, though, with the new dimensions in, in, uh, in, in progressive field, Tends to favor the hitters a little bit more, so we'll have to see if the Guardians can break through. Considering the Guardians in their last 10 games are hitting 284 against right-handed pitching, so I think they might have a decent matchup here. The problem for me with Cleveland is that Logan Allen is getting the start here, and while Allen has a solid win-loss record at 7-3, and three, he still has a 5.30 ERA, and that's partially because of his ERA at home this season over 7. He's been getting hit hard at progressive field. For the better part of the year across his five starts, a 7.33 ERA, a 319 opponent's batting average. Now, the Seattle Mariners in the last two weeks don't necessarily have, you know, the best numbers out there against left-handed pitching, but, you know, they've been finding ways to get the job done over the course of this little win streak that they've been on. You know, the Seattle Mariners, despite all these issues, you know, a, a decent amount of plate appearances, 180 plate appearances in the last two weeks against lefties, the fifth highest sample size. Sky high strikeout rate at 32.2%, and they're only hitting 168, uh, batting team OPS of point of, of 578, so not great. But again, they keep finding ways to get the job done. Luis Castillo fully capable of eating enough innings to keep his team in this game. And then when you get to the bullpens, the Cleveland Guardians have one of the best bullpens in baseball, but Seattle's been right there. Seattle's been able to match a lot of what teams have brought to the table this season. And I just think we're getting the much better starter, the much more reliable starter, and you know, a, a hot lineup right now in the uh, in in the Seattle Mariners against a Cleveland Guardians team that you know, yes, is hitting righties fairly well, but it hasn't necessarily translated to wins for them as of late. So, I'm gonna go with the Cleveland. That's gonna be I'm gonna go with the Seattle Mariners on the money line in this one, and that's gonna be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.